we can say for the first time that yes, humans were changing the way they were interacting. And this is probably what allowed us to survive and thrive. A breakthrough discovery that's shedding light on ancient human history. University of Alberta anthropologist Elizabeth Sochek has found ancient bones of a middle-aged woman some 12 years ago in Africa, but it was only recently through genetic analysis it was confirmed to be the oldest DNA ever found in Africa. We think that she lived about about 18 to 20,000 years ago. So at the height of the last ice age. The remains were found with beets made from ostrich eggshell. Sawchak said they were able to determine when the woman lived by dating those beets. It was very difficult to study her bones because they were almost pulverized to dust. And part of that is because she was buried so long ago. And one thing that's really great are these small ostrich eggshell beets. They were buried with her. She was probably wearing them when she was laid to rest. And so based on that, we were able to get a radiocarbon date out of those beads, and they all came back to between 18 and 20,000 years ago. She says the discovery helps unveil an ancient population and the way they lived, but the work came with its own challenges. Everyone said, well, you'll never get DNA from Africa. It's too hot. It's too humid. I wrote some grant applications. They were rejected. Along with the remains of the ancient women, the study, which included findings of a total of 44 researchers, also analyzed the remains of 31 other individuals, all of which were examined at Harvard University. Based on the DNA of all these individuals, the only explanation uh, that we have for why their ancestry looks the way it is, is if people were moving around and mixing quite a bit. Sawchuk says the oldest genome from sub-Saharan Africa was 9,000 years old. In Edmonton, Hibakimal Shufi, City News. Next.